Hello everyone, Ultimate Acura 4.10 has been released, so let's learn a little bit more about it. The biggest new feature is supporting Cura for several CAD file extensions. I'll talk about that in more detail in a moment, but for now, let's look at the other changes. Ultimate Acura 4.10 has many small optimizations and minor bug fixes, such as fixing overlaying numbers in the printer settings and a crash when scaling in Linux. This means that the software stability has been increased. Furthermore, several 3D printers from other brands in Ultimaker have been added or updated. So check out the release notes to see which ones these are. Now, if you model your designs in CAD, there's a chance that exporting every part to STL feels too time consuming. Well, from this update, users with an Ultimaker Professional or Excellence subscription can import various CAD formats directly into Ultimaker Cura. This is developed using the Sol Spatial technology and means that you can open files such as STEP, EGAS, DXF or DWG. We've included support for parts and projects from applications such as Autodesk Revit and Inventor, Siemens NX and Parasolid, Solid Edge, SolidWorks, Katia, Rhinoceros and Creo. And more could be added in the future. And yes, you heard that right. You can open a part or a whole assembly and assemblies will be opened as a group, making it easier to print all these parts together, or you can ungroup them to change print settings per part. So this is a huge workflow boost for many of you out there. And as you can see, we've worked hard on native CAD import as so many of you have requested this. And as an Ultimaker professional or excellent subscriber, you can enable this feature by downloading the native CAD import plugin from the Ultimaker marketplace. We hope you will enjoy this and have an even more reliable slicing experience. So thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe so you never miss the next update. See you next time.